Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Torre versus Lacey. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Ture, you are in court to prove to your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Lacey, that he is the biological father of your adult son, Trayvon Lacey. You state that the defendant has been an absentee father full of excuses and you want it all to end today in court with the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Tell the court. Well, it's not fair to my son and he he really needs to uh, man up because um, he's depriving my child of a father. He is the father of my son. And so you believe that you are not Trayvon's biological father? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. You believe that from the beginning? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so did you sign the birth certificate? No, Your Honor. Yes, he did, Your Honor. Your Honor, I could not have signed it. Your Honor, I got proof today that he did sign the the birth certificate and his name is on my son. I'd like to see that proof. Jerome? Your Honor, I could not have signed the birth certificate. I was not, uh, I was incarcerated at the time Trayvon was born. Thank you. So this birth certificate, child's name, Trayvon Lacey's father's name, Larry Lacey. But it's typed in. Mm -hmm. Was he present at the birth? He was not present, no. You basically just gave them his name. I gave him his name because... And they typed it in? Yes. So, Mr. Lacey, when did you find out that she claimed you were Trayvon's biological father? Uh, I say Trayvon probably was about between three and six months years old. I received a court paper to go to uh, the state of Ohio uh, child support court. And uh, me and Ms. Torre, we did both appear at the child support court. When I walked into the court, the judge, he looked at me, he said, this your son, you know, you, you have nothing to say. That's not true, Your Honor. They gave him an opportunity for a DNA. No, they if he did had not, any Your doubt Honor. that uh, my son was not no, they his did child, not, Your Honor. Hamilton County gave him a window of an opportunity to say, yes or nay, I want a DNA. He said, no, it's my son. We went forth with the child support case. You don't remember any of that happening? No, ma'am. Yes, he That's does. not the way I remember it happening, Your Honor. Okay. But he's on the birth certificate. He is. So he is the legal father. Yes. As far and as his court saying. papers say he's paying child support. You, yes. You pay child I support. Have, I have proof that, Diana. Let uh, me see that. There you go. But, Your Honor, I want to put this to bed. I'm tired of reliving this. You know, okay, I made a mistake. It wasn't even a mistake. I was just living mm-hmm. on my own. Uh, and I, he just keep throwing his man in my face over and making my son feel bad. I, 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 I'm ready to put it to bed. That's what I want to do and get on with our life. Right. Your Honor, my intention is not to make Trayvon feel bad, nor is my intention to make Ms. Torre feel bad. Only thing I want to know is the truth. It sounds like, as we stand here today, that there is, in fact, a question of... a real question of paternity that both sides acknowledge. Uh, you presented this evidence to the court, which indicates that you... You owe $37,200 and some odd dollars in child mm-hmm. support, which you have... Knock you down to five thousand dollars. You've got about five thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah. It's past due. You've paid all of that. So throughout these years, you've paid. I've been paying off and on. You know, sometimes during them years I was unemployed. As soon as I find um, employment again, then you know my wages start being garnished. But you've again. managed to pay that thirty-seven thousand down to almost five thousand. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you're getting it done. And the only thing that Miss Torre have told me is this because I asked her about the other gentleman. And she told me that she went to the other gentleman and she spoke to that gentleman and the gentleman told her, no, Trayvon is not his child because he do not look like any of his other children. And Ms. Torre accepted that. So, now, let me understand. Who who is this other? I don't know the gentleman's name, but he is the gentleman when when, uh, me and Ms... uh, Torrey was first got together. I left. I had to leave and go out of town. Okay, take me back to that. How you met? You you met? Okay, I met Miss Torrey. Uh, I was on the city bus, and she was on the city bus, and uh, she had her oldest son to walk up to me and give me a piece of paper with a phone number on it. Okay. <laughs> so when I looked at I the phone like. number, when I looked at the phone number, I'm wondering who is this. So I turn around and I'm watching where the you know child goes. The child went back and he sat next to. You know, Miss Torrey, I looked at her and said, mm, nice-looking young lady. You know, maybe we can get together. 
You know? And so, Mr. Ray, you don't remember sending your son up with the phone number? Your Honor, yes, I do remember okay. meeting Mr. Lacey. And partially, that is true. Um, the thing is, I found him very attractive and very charming. Yes, I did. And I did approach him because I like what I, has, I saw. So we, we, the chemistry, once we started talking, the chemistry was good. And um, he decided to move in with me. Well, at this time, my first time I, I had sex with Mr. Lacey, he got me pregnant. But I didn't know it at the time. So Mr. Lacey told me he left and went out of town. He just disappeared, Your Honor. He disappeared. I don't know where he went. But later on down the road, as time revealed, he was he was living a double life. It was another woman in the neighborhood that he had left me for. So at that time, I thought, you know, it was over. So wait a minute, you all in this relationship, everything's going fine, then you come back home and Mr. Lacey is gone? No, Mr. Lacey had sex with me and took off. Oh, so after he had he sex, had he sex left. He had sex with me and took off. I didn't see him for a long time after that. Yeah. That's wait, I thought you said he moved in. I thought you said he moved in. I thought you said he moved in. Yes, he did. That was after the fact he came back and caught the guy at my house. So, Mr. Lacey, tell me what happened with this guy. Okay, Your Honor. I had to go out of town and take care of some family business for a week. When I came back into town, I knock on the door, you know, and the door opened. Well, I see my pajamas. My pajamas. Oh. Mr. Ray has on the pajama top. That is not true to me. The That's gentleman has on the pajama bottom. Your pajamas. My pajamas. I didn't argue, I didn't fuss. I didn't create no drama. I didn't fight. I didn't do anything. I turned around. I tell my cousin, I said, come on, let's go. So we left. So do you remember this incident with the pajamas, Mr. Ray? He is straight lying. I'm telling you, Your Honor. When he came and knocked on my door, I answered the door and, and my new friend came to the door with me. He did not, he didn't have, he had on his own clothes, first of all. He had on a pair of pants, he didn't have on a he shirt. He had on pajama pants. He didn't have on a shirt. It was blue. But he did and have on his own on clothes on. Top. And I had my clothes on. No, you okay, did not. so pajamas or no pajamas? Were you intimate with this guy? You said it's your new friend. I was intimate, yes. <laughs> but I just moved in town. I got my new apartment. I was feeling all grown in my apartment, doing grown mm-hmm. stuff in my gro- uh, mm-hmm. grown you apartment. Sure mm-hmm. You sure were. You sure were. were. <laughs> How soon after he walks in on you in pajama, man, did you find out you were pregnant? Well, I didn't find out until I went to the OBGYN. And I, at that time, he, had, he told me that I was like 12 to 14 weeks already into my pregnancy. Really? And he was the only man I had sex at, in that time frame. Because I didn't have any... 12, I didn't know nobody else. He was pregnant, and we had only been together for no more than a month. How could Trayvon be my child? Because DNA gonna tell you it's your child. <laughs> we wasn't... We were just having sex. Well, I get that. Unprotected, I guess. Of yes, course. Ma'am. So... Rubber in hand and peels another one. It just happened that way. <sighs> <sighs> so, how soon after that were you... Did you transition to pajama guy? About two about weeks three, after. About, yeah, maybe about two or three weeks. I, about two or three weeks. I already weeks. had eyes on him. But I ran into Larry... <laughs> And I start talking to him. Miss Toure, you was on team too much back then. What? You was on team too much back then. I you had eyes on much. one. We live and we learn. I'm not I'm team saying too you... much now, though. But good. at that time, yes, I was. Good, 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 I was good. in it to win it. I'm new. I was new at town. I had my own place. Yeah, you, you, you was on team too much. You're Trayvon, right. I haven't heard from you yet. You've been very quiet <laughs> listening to this testimony. And I know some of it's probably difficult, son. Do you have something you'd like to say to the court? Um, yes, I, I want to start off by, by saying my mom, you know, she was, you know, an excellent mother. Um, she raised three boys by herself, um, all at different ages. So I want to give her, you know, uh, kudos for that. You know, I believe I, I done turned out okay. Um, I have, <laughs> um, I also want to go on to say that, you know, Larry's absence in my life, it definitely affected me in a negative way. Growing up, it was tough. You know, I I started having sex at a young age. I just wish if I had a father there, he could have pointed me in the right direction. Um, Talk to Mr. Lacey about specifically how this affected you growing up, not having him in your life. um, Larry, I believe, you know, growing up with my mom, you know, it was a lot of things that 
I wish we could have been there with, you know, as far as her having to be my father as well as my mother. I feel like if you were there, it was a lot of, you know, heartache and headaches that I could have avoided. Um, as far as my children, which I believe are your grandchildren, um, they have a right to know who their grandfather is. True. You know, so I want to I want to I want to let you know that. And uh, I'm just ready to get these results so we can move forward in our lives. When you hear that, Mr. Lacey, how do you feel? It makes me feel good and it also makes me feel a little sad, you know, because during the time that I wanted to be in Trayvon's life, Kadisha didn't want me around. I never had hatred toward Kadisha for what she done. Only thing I, I, I disagreed with Ms. Torre on was not allowing me to be closer as I wanted to be. Ms. Torre, did you keep Mr. Lacey away from the boys? Absolutely not. A lot of times it was the relationships Absolutely that she not. was I'm in a, and the things that she was doing in her life. No, I think exactly. the whole thing in a nutshell, he's just trying to get now, out of child support payment. Now. Well, Ms. I mean, he done paid it now, that's so, right. it's, so, so now if that's is, true, <laughs> he's not getting that money back. That's so right. that's not a motive right now. That's, that's, that's irrelevant. He probably doesn't know that, though. That's irrelevant. When we started the case, it was your testimony you believe he is Trevon's biological father. But through the testimony, it has been revealed to me that you acknowledge and recognize that there is a real doubt and a reason behind that doubt. Because you engaged in sexual activity with another person. Right. Is this the first time you were honest with Trevon about the fact that you really do understand? And you say yes, Trevon. Yes. You, this is the first time in court today that you've heard your mother acknowledge that there really could be a doubt as to whether or not Mr. Lacey... And it's Lacey... also the first yes. time I heard this, man. He when, is lying. So when when Miss but... Torre told, came from, from the doctor and she told me that she was pregnant, you know, I asked Torre, I said, is it mine or is it the other guy's? She told me, she said, it's yours. So I, I rolled with the punches. And these are how paternity seek. They affect the individual. We're gonna go to the results in just a moment. But Trevon, I think it's important today for you to share with your mom and your, the man you believe is your dad, what's going through your mind right now, now that you have the whole story? Right. Um, I have three children of my own. Um, because of what I've went through growing up as a kid, as far as not having a father, uh, I have vowed to always be in my children's life. If the results come out that he is my father, you know, I want him in my life. I want him in my children's life. You know, we deserve that. You know, and if he isn't, then, you know, I'm, we, we have to move on and find out who is. If, in fact, he's not your biological father, do you want to seek out this other man? Definitely. You do? Definitely. My, chi my, my children deserve to know who their father, yes, they uh, grandfather do. are. Mom, do you know where this other man is? I have no idea where he is, but um, he's aware that I was pregnant and Larry came back and all that. Okay. And he, he's given me pictures, you know, just in case this situation came out where the DNA say he is the father, he would be interested in getting back into my son's life. You didn't know any of that was going on, did you? No, ma'am. And I'm sorry for that, son. I should have told you. I'm ready for the results, Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Toure versus Lacey, when it comes to 25-year-old Trevon Lacey, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Lacey, you are the father. Yes. Thank you, your honor. I told you. Mm -hmm. I told you. Now stand up, give my son his respect. Give him his, his father, give him his father. Hug your daddy. How does it feel, Trevon? Um, there's, it's exhilarating. I wanna thank you for bringing out these results and you know, hopefully that we can move forward with our lives. I have nothing to say. Cold as ice. You talked this whole case. Why? I'll contact Trayvon at a later date, and I'll discuss with him and me and him make plans to get together or whatever. But at this moment, I just have not much to say. 
look, this is what paternity secrets do. They rob people of their joy. They rob mm -hmm. people of their family. He just got robbed of another moment. And I don't like it. And you know why he got robbed? Because of that chapter you left out. You're right. We're in paternity court, but some days it's maternity court too. Because it is both parents yeah. that cause these children to go without and to be robbed. It bugs me that when I said you are the father, that you stood still like that and never looked over at your son. That bugs me. I, 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 I'm, I'm upset. I don't have nothing to say to him at the moment. You don't have anything to say to yourself? Not at the moment. So what I want to say to you is this. What you feel like is Miss Ture lied and you feel like she manipulated and she feel like you're a victim because you feel like she manipulated this whole saga, moved away, you lost contact, it. all of this. You it's made yourself it, into a victim. I'm not a victim. You, th 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 that's how you stand in there looking like. Oh, I am not I a victim. I know what you're doing, but I will say this to you. You also, you may not be a victim, but in this moment, you're not a man or a father in my eyes. And with that said, court is adjourned. Thank you. You go ahead with your sorrow self.